Hello and thank you for joining me. So this is a weekly forecast using tarot and oracle cards and I think I might actually also pick an angel card. Um, it's to cover the week of the 28th of July. So from the 28th of July to the 3rd of August. I usually do daily tarot but I'm not available for um, some of July and August so it'll be weekly now until September. But I am available for one-to-one uh, -one readings if you would like to contact me um, then just have a look on the description it will go to my website and there's a, a little link there book a reading and it's very very easy. I do readings via Zoom so it doesn't matter where you are in the world, I should hopefully be able to accommodate you. If you can't find a time that suits you, though, do message me and I will do my best to fit in. I know some of the Pacific time zones are quite a lot different from the UK, but we usually manage one way or the other. OK, so astrologically, this seems like quite a quiet week. But I have to say the following week, Mercury goes into retrograde. So I'm Wondering if this is the calm before the storm. Let's see what cards come out for us anyway. Right, okay, I picked two. Two came out in my hand. I only really wanted to pick one. But what an odd combination. <laughs> Got the nine of pentacles and the ten of swords. Mm, okay, I feel like, obviously, because they're you know, a nine and a ten, but they're very, very different in the fact that nines are to do with... Um, almost completing a cycle tens are the completion of a cycle i feel actually that this is to do with the good and the bad in every situation in every negative situation you can learn from something so for instance if you've been stabbed in the back just like this gentleman is laying down there you learn resilience you learn to stand up for yourself look after yourself make sure that you are um lead, you know in control of your own destiny so i do feel every tarot card has a, there's no bad or good tarot cards they're all neutral depending on where we are and how we view a situation we can see them in a positive or negative light. As I say, depending on our mindset and the, the various things around us. So for instance, if you look at this 10 of swords, yes, it does look like this guy is, is finished. That's the end of this situation. It can't get any worse, but we've got the beautiful new dawn there, which is offering us a new beginning, a new start. And sometimes when we do feel like things can't get any worse, then that's the turning point, isn't it, for things to get better. On the flip side to that, we've also got this Nine of Pentacles. And you would be right in thinking that generally people see this as a very positive card. We've got the Nine there with the Nine Pentacles here, which are kind of indicating sort of fruit. She's in a vineyard. She's well dressed. You can see that perhaps she's a member of the aristocracy because she's got a hawk. And when these cards were drawn, that was a sign of... Um, historically that people were quite well off but it's not the 10 is it there's no one else around us so there's feel like there's something else that perhaps that person might need so i feel like these two came out together stuck together as if they're different sides of the same coin we can be a victim or we can be a victor you know we can be proud of our achievements or just get caught up in the anxiety and stress that sometimes life throws at us um people view us differently as well and i guess there's been times in our life as well haven't there when we've felt more like this than this and vice versa life has ups and downs and we know that and i feel like these two are coming out to say when it's perhaps down we know that there is a, a new start a new beginning for us and when it's up it's a really an idea of just absolutely appreciating being in that present moment and enjoying what you've got because as the nine suggests there's, there's more to come we don't know what's around the corner so I do feel that that is a, a, just a little bit of a nod to enjoying life when it's going well okay let's see what else we've got then I'm going to pick another card from our light seers tarot um oh my nearly fell out then so let's see who comes out for this one two again okay <laughs> got this duality they want to be sort of stuck together and we've got the same kind of feeling there haven't we we've got the two of pentacles and the six of swords the six of swords i feel is 
quite an empowering cards really because it's telling us about moving away from difficult situations those crows have pulled this lady's bow they've actually been her savior if you look at it and the crows often in this pack relate to your kind of mind but this lady oh poppy's just putting a little two penny worth in there <laughs> So I feel like this is a real conscious choice of moving away from stress and drama and chaos. So we're in Leo season at the moment and Leo season is a very heart centered, courageous energy, but also characteristics within Leo are the fact that they will go out and get what they want. And I do feel that these two cards together are saying right we're going to move away from anything that's not really serving us not really helpful and we are going to start balancing our own life this lady's got the two pentacles there one's a well i think one's quite a nice handbag and the other one looks like a kind of aura that she's carrying around with her but i feel like she's managing her own things again a bit like that nine of pentacles really there's a element here to do with strength and to do with learning that really if you want to do something you've got to do it yourself i feel like an overall message for all of those four cards here is to not wait for other people to try and help you to do it yourself to get out and really put yourself first and a lot of people don't do that it's seen as selfish isn't it when we do that um but it isn't i work in complementary therapies now i'm a reflexologist and People really struggle to take time out for themselves, to give themselves one hour, a week or a month for self-care. It's seen as a selfish thing to do. And I feel like Leo, I mean, maybe some of the Leos you know might get a bit of a bad rap for being a bit self-involved or, or a little bit um, putting themselves first more often than not. But I feel like we can all embrace something from that. We can all take something from that. Um, this lady's deciding her mental health is more important than anything else and moving away. And this lady's just kind of balancing her own workload and um, deciding to kind of, yeah, strive for a little bit more maybe. So, food for thought there for our tarot cards this week. Okay, I'm going to pick an animal card now. So these are the animal oracle cards. We had elephant last week, didn't we? Learn from the past. So maybe did you learn from the past? Have you um, decided to move forwards because you've learned from the past? Um, let's see who else comes out for us this week. Okay, who have we got? Turtle. Slow and steady wins the race. Okay, well, that is true. It does. I feel as I'm looking at this card that I want to take a really nice deep breath and I feel that the elements that we've had in those tarot cards of realising there's good and bad in every situation, I feel like the idea of, okay, I'm going to do this myself, I'm going to get on, I'm going to do be the best that I can be and, and not worry about what other people are doing or whether or not they can help me, I feel like that is a wake up call. And I feel that maybe that could bring on us a sense of heaviness, which can often come in with the pentacles. And we've had two pentacle cards this week, um, two pentacles, two swords. So lots going on in our mind and a kind of that earthy energy of kind of trudging through a little bit. But of course, the turtle is in, um, is in the sea, isn't he? It's a little bit lighter and he can kind of just go with the flow. I always think of... Um, finding Nemo when I see turtles in the in the tarot or oracle cards and that guy you know he's like a hundred years old but he's, I can't remember his name now the turtle in finding Nemo I'm sure someone will put it in the comments but um yeah just the idea isn't it of just going with it that's that's fine I feel like sometimes we forget that we want to have a long and happy life so trying to get everything done in a day we we can often exhaust ourselves Again, I want to go back to that element of self-care. We're in Leo season and in the tarot, Leo is linked to the card strength, which is a lion. But that can often come out when we need to look after ourselves a little bit or we've been doing so much that we've found our strength, but also worn ourselves out at the same time. So slow and steady wins the race. Chill out a little bit. I feel like this is a you know um the water element kind of coming in as well so 
yeah, I'm really going with self-care on that particular card today. I really feel like that that is uh, that is the message that Turtle wants to bring us. So I'm going to use these other energy cards and then I'm going to pick an angel card and that will be everything for the week. We've got some had some extra ones come out today, haven't we? Okay. Well, that's lovely. I like this beautiful blue calm energy of the world. And yeah, there's some mixed messages with those tarot cards this week. So perhaps at some stages you're going to be down and up, down and up. Maybe that's going to be the, the flow this week and how, how things pan out. But I do feel that this is the idea of being connected with your purpose, what it was that's driving you forward and driving you um what your ambitions are, what it is, the, what, how you want to make a difference in the world. It's all out there for you. And sometimes we have to navigate life's ups and downs, which I feel is coming in this week. But um, I feel like this card is saying, don't forget the bigger picture. Last week, we were very much in that Capricorn full moon energy of all the things we'd learned about ourselves and how we want to move on in the world. But of course, life's trials and tribulations immediately then come in, don't they? And throw a few spanners in the works. So hopefully you've got that bigger picture. You've got your eye on where you want to be and what you want to do. And regardless of what comes in for you, just keep prioritising that and coming back to that for yourself. Excuse me while I lean right over there to get my angel cards. Okay, last card. <laughs> so this is effectively the last card for July <laughs> and our card for starting August. So let's see what angel card comes out for us today. Or what angel? Oh, well, there they are. <laughs> Fell on the floor. This is Vanessa. Wow, she looks like a bit of a powerhouse there, doesn't she? Right, to make your decision, ask yourself which way brings me closer to my divine purpose and which way takes me away from it. And immediately as I'm saying that, I'm tied into what I've just said about the world, which I do love when cards come out and just make me repeat myself. But we've had that duality. I was going to pick one card with both those tarot packs. Two came out and it was very much a dark and a light, a one way or the other so yeah keep your eye on your divine purpose so maybe at all times this week ask yourself you're at a point of a duality unsure bit of a crossroads think about what this angel vanessa is saying which one is going to bring me closer to my divine purpose i love that because um it's keeping us very, very focused as we move through Leo season and towards that Mercury retrograde. So we'll talk about that next week. So yes, we will talk about that next week when I come back. Have a wonderful week. Bye for now.